Well, we've been having some flare-ups in the community of Stony Hill for quite some time now, and we had a murder happening on Sunday. Uh, and then today we had a triple murder. These are boys. These are little boys. They're ranging from 16 to, to 19. Um, so they're youngsters. They're young boys who were murdered today. Another My View TV exclusive. Please remember to hit the notification bell, like, share, and subscribe. I don't bring nobody forward in your future for me. Everything where you see up, my natural talent. Let me tell you something. You see, when you know what to please the audience with, it's simple me. What go on, my people? Hope everybody is okay. Hope everybody is alright. By now, everybody supposed to see this picture up on the right hand side. Yeah, man. Who not see it yet? See it then now. Them say unity is strength. I mean, like what I'm seeing right here, so you understand? Make sure you go out there right now, like on United and win the 4x100 meter relay with a record time. Yeah, man, we won the gold medal. Hold on, let me tell the tree on something. The donkey done gone through the gate and find a ring already. Only can't trick everybody else but me. So, the bag of fake smile that we now put on, me now work with it. If the world, yes, the world, me I talk about now, the whole athletic community, they come out and say, yo, we really go on this. You know how to do that right now. So, you can continue putting on a show. You understand who are watching the show can watch it. We not really business with that part. They only want the gold medal and the Olympic record. That is the only thing me want from Uno. You understand? Gold medal, Olympic record, world record in the four by one. And then they can go back to life as normal by eating each other. Because we don't see the bad blood. That can't replace. You understand? Anyway, paper me go to the news car wall if I think I go out in the news right, right, right now. And we have a little update on the little stone hill thing to make the people them know where I go on. And a little update on the little Asian thing too. So people don't need to worry. Remember me don't tell this whatever now come on the news. Me I go make you know exactly where I go on. And stepmother of the seven year old girl who died after reportedly being beaten at home in New Works, Lindsay said catch it has been charged with murder. Yes, them finally charged them. I slap them, they slap them, but still 29 year old Rowan Russell and 27 year old Lorraine Fletcher was charged on the weekend. It's reported that on June 28, Mr. Russell and Miss Fletcher took Tiana to the Lindsay Hospital. The child was pronounced dead, and the police were called after an examination revealed marks of violence on Tiana's body. Yeah, man, them beat her to sickness. And our tops revealed that she died as a result of blunt force injury. May I tell you no, people like them no fear no pitney. Look how them mash up a little pitney man at seven year old. How would this little girl like that do so that beat her so hard? And then you're not gonna tell me say we if you give them a chance to go behind bars go eat taxpayers money. Let them out. Let them out. I make some people fix them business for them on the need for let them out. Come into need for slap them with people. Me attack the truth. I waste, we waste time. I put so much of them behind bars, you know. Me tell you the truth. Now, my people, I take a walk, go up at Tension Hill. Oh, sorry, I mean Stone Hill. Residents of Stone Hill, St. Andrew, fear that the triple murder in the community yesterday believed to be the reprisal of killing of 58-year-old David Nooks in the community on Monday evening will intensify the deadly violence between two families and their associates in the area. As long as they are keep it between each other, it's all right. That's what the people them and the community are saying. Once they are angle them bangle together and leave innocent people out tight, Everything is okay. The three men were killed in a section of the community called Hashburn off Bookseven Road by gunman armed with M16 rifle and pistol, according to police source, who said the incident occurred shortly after 1 p.m. A very distraught mother, Debbie Ann Brown, mother of one of the victims, 20 year old Brandon Scarlett, otherwise called Gossip by family and friend, said he had been at home when a friend called him for a request. She said, One of them friends shouted him and said, Forward, Gossip, come do something for me. Yeah, people, and that's what they must say. No, it was his usual willingness to lend a helping hand that led to his demise, according to Brown. Last night, Brandon in the house, Brandon, aka Gossy, yeah, people, and Adija, you to everybody know, call him on him phone and ask him if he have anything can give them for cook. Adija asked him for carry it come. As Gossy reach, a pure gunshot look like the man them did that wait for him. I must not have my people, but anyway, let me continue. And the man that tell me exactly what one. Me wait until the shot cool down. When me go look, Adija body me buck up in her. Me never them go look and say Gossy dead too. Oh Jesus, go Gossy there yard and then just call him out and him get slapped with. And another youth. Me no know what the other youth name that the man that say no. Gossy was a nice 
helpful youth. Not because I'm a son, him help everyone out and talk to everybody, said Brown. And then now, people, look like we have to go read the comment section to see exactly who Gossy is. You understand? Me not go to believe the man that be a this with you know. Brown said her son had demonstrated that he wanted to lead a positive life and had been waiting to be enrolled in the Jamaican German Auto Water School in St. Andrew. That I don't Jagas. He has been raising chicken to keep himself busy in the meantime. Don't need to worry. You know, I have only for money to spend on the nine night because the same chicken they may raise. Then make your use to feed the people about the nine night. If you listen to the news, nobody not teach love a pure war. Me just to like it. Somebody need to teach love. My son in a bed, he not do nobody nothing said Brown who appeal to the criminals in the community to end the violence. Me get him in a school, but through COVID, it not open yet. And me buy all the chicken, give him for race. No real self, mommy, the chicken them now got to waste. You understand? Big nine night can't keep. No, why somebody would have want to do him that? She said before breaking down in tears. But I tell her something. All him cronies them. But then again, some of them dead. Could I tell her exactly where they mix up in her? Yesterday, the police superintendent of police, Colin Melanie, said the police has arrested some of the main violent producers in the area who were in pursuit of the other members of the gang. So, well, and it's a gang conflict. He said, over the terrain pose a challenge for the police when hunting criminals yeah man that team say holy piles and valleys and holy pabush coming like them all have cave round the for idea now he's a making people them know say my carrier investigation in relation to these murders we have to police the community on foot and we can do so much and no more they them want help from the people them are the community and the people them not help them look like that and there's a lie up on the side of the world the people but well on, you know so once operation like this go down and holy papi people get slapped with my friend off to come out come talk with big fat no stephanie they come here i am able to confirm at this time that investigators from the major investigation division as well as the st andrew north criminal investigation department are currently at a scene in stony hill book level area where there was a triple murder in that community earlier today three men were shot and killed and they died at um it, it, it was at a house they were all killed at a house in the community there has been some 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 challenges in those area of criminal gangs that each at, at, at odds with each other there have been some shooting there have been a number of little things happening in recent times and so the investigators will try to see if there's a correlation between the previous admins and what happened today and the people me soon talk to the mp when i'm a sense all the things she know food i go up on twitter go war with people i said that i said that i mean what i said that and i take it back stephanie so you really are tell me, say, you uptown friend them come from Stone in a long time. Criminal I live amongst them and crime and violence. I up there and now bring it into the media. Why, Stephanie? Why? I always tell you, you know, people, you show them beef. When it reach them community, them do want to talk about it. But this one here, yeah, then could hide it. Because the people them run with it before it touch media. Well, we've been having some flare-ups in the community of Stony Hill for quite some time now and we had a murder happening on Sunday uh, and then today we had a triple murder. These are boys, these are little boys, they're ranging from 16 to, to 19. Um, so they're youngsters, they're young boys who were murdered today. I just left the area, it is, uh, I, I don't even know what to say, it's really devastating and you know, we're trying to find out exactly what is happening. So when you find out, you can come back, come tell me exactly where you go on MP. Yes, because the people them say you not do anything, but make sure you come, come tell me exactly where you go on when you find out. You understand? Nobody hide up nothing for your friend them. And speaking of where you go on, the Asian them will come here. Yes, people. Me you say never escape them, I try to escape. At last, them last, I see them a fisherman. If you don't believe me, I talk to Trivial and I Trivial tell you no. We are of the opinion that these men were out fishing and they got into difficulties and eventually drifted onto our shores. This is not necessarily a new situation to us where Asians have drifted onto our shores. Generally, all the stakeholders here have a very good appreciation of how to treat with Haitians who come into our space, whether in distress or whether they have deliberately sought to come to Jamaica. And if you have to come in contact, then as best as possible, we try to sanitize and we make the health department aware of the level of contact that we, we have had. Always remember, tell a friend to tell another friend. Come and check us out, all right?